Hello guys. Um, so I decided to do a quick video, a quick update video about what Cadix is working on at the moment. Uh, seeing all the comments on a Vox9 official uh, group on Facebook, I know everyone or most of you are annoyed that we haven't heard from them for a while. We haven't seen any new firmwares and the last official firmware isn't, isn't, is far from perfection. Um, so yeah, uh, I thought it's a good idea to actually do an update and let you know what's going on, what they are working on. Just quickly before we start, um, I would like to introduce myself just so you know who I am. My name is Rafał, I am originally from Poland. 19 years ago I, had, I decided to move to UK and that's where I am at the moment. Um, I have been flying for six years, probably around six years now. I started with Analog, then HD0, moved to DJI and now flying Walksnail. I think I had a chance to experience all the systems that are available at the moment. I've spent probably a year with HD0, probably over a year with DJI. I still have DJI. I still fly DJI from time to time. Um, but my daily driver is Voxnail at, at the moment. I, I would like to add one more thing, just so you know. I am a test pilot for Voxnail. That's why I have an access to the latest beta firmwares. And I would like to take this chance and, and show you what they're working on at the moment, because I know we haven't seen, we haven't heard from, from them for a while, we haven't seen any new firm, firmware updates uh, for a while, but I promise you they are working um, and they would like to improve their product. Uh, they are adding very nice features um, and that's what you're going to see in a minute. So let's go. Okay. Here we go. So I have my goggles connected to Flyside HD screen recording with Hero 10. So hopefully this is clear and sharp enough for you to see. Um, we are currently in standard mode. We have seven channels available and one public. If we go to settings, device, we have now new mode available called switch mode. This is as you can see currently set to standard. We can quickly switch it to race and now goggles were reset. This usually takes few seconds. From my understanding, race mode is supposed to keep your latency as low as possible and as steady as possible. And that should be on. Now, yes, good. Okay, <clears throat> so in the race mode, we now have eight channels and one public. So we are getting an extra channel. In settings, if we go to camera, now scene is automatically set to race as soon as you switch to race mode and the ratio is automatically switched to 4x3. You can change though, you can change those two settings if you wish. Now if we go back, we have now a resolution set to 540p that cannot be changed. Um, as well as frame rate and bitrate, they cannot be changed. So frame rate will be high and bitrate will be standard all the time. Now in terms of broadcasting, which is currently on as you can see, you can switch it on and off, um, but people will be able to spectate you only if they are in the same mode. So if you're in a race mode, they need to be in a race mode. If you're in a standard mode, they also need to be in standard mode in order to spectate you. Uh, one thing I would like to say, um, and I will probably post a video later, broadcasting or spectating is working very well at the moment. Uh, it's very smooth, very clear. Um, glitches are only happening when a um, drone is behind an object that's going to cause um, the pilot's bitrate to drop. Other than that, it's, it's really nice and smooth and clear. Okay, that's what's new in the new firmware. Let's move on. Now you know what's new in the settings. Let's move on to the field where I will do a quick recap and I will show you what drones and VTXs this will be tested on. All the information um, and the delay is displayed on the screen, so keep an eye on them. And at the end of the video, let me know your thoughts. Just remember, this is still a beta phase. Uh, so there are improvements that still need, need to be or can be made um, 
And yeah, hopefully we'll see this film more officially available to all of us soon. See ya. See you in the field. Hello guys, um, so yeah, we're gonna do a quick testing of the new firmware with race mode enabled uh, That's still in uh, beta phase uh, well, Hopefully it will be released soon First V2 on 3 JPEX uh, This is the uh, DTX V2 Pro um, We'll do one pack on uh, the race mode enabled and then one pack with the standard, standard mode enabled um, now race mode is only locked to all, all three settings are locked you cannot change them so you have a, a high frame rate uh, and then standard deep rate and only 440 uh, 540p sorry um, then we'll switch to standard mode and i'm gonna set it to as i normally fly which is 720 um, high frame rate and standard bit rate and we'll do the same on v1 uh, for this one, we'll do the same on D1 uh, PTX with a micro camera both race mode and standard mode and at the end we'll do a quick flight with uh, DJI Rimi with similar settings so we can compare latency on all three of them later at home on the bench this is an open field um, which I guess is standard scenario when you are racing but just in case at the end of each park we will try to fly towards that tree and go around behind this tree I don't know if you can see it see if the latency will increase and what sort of values we will get but yeah, that's the plan now for you let's go
Okay, time to wrap it up. First of all, apologies for wasting well over 17 minutes of your time. I couldn't make this any shorter. Um, I hope you enjoyed it. If you did, please subscribe, leave thumbs up. I'm trying to get to 500 subs, very important achievement for me. And only you can make it happen. Um, yeah, let me know in the comments. What do you think about this update? I hope this video was useful to some of you and I hope once this firmware is out, some of you, especially those who are professionally racing, will be able to benefit from it, um, from that update. Um, I like the fact the latency was quite low and stable. I only wish that once this firmware is out, people with or someone with professional tools, like hopefully Chris Osser maybe, because I know he's good at it, um, will be able to actually measure the delay properly and let us know if the values that we can see on the screen are real. Um, yeah, that's it. That's where we are. That's the latest beta firmware that we are testing at the moment. And hopefully this will be released very, very, very soon. If you want to stay up to date, consider subscribing. Um, one other thing that I would like to test is obviously a very sensitive subject, um, which is penetration. Um, I have the place, I think good enough to do it, I uh, just need to find some time. And yeah, I will try to let you know as soon as possible um, how good is penetration in the latest firmware. Thank you very much for watching, please consider subscribing and I will see you at the next one. Stay tuned, bye.